Hi guys, it's TJ. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. If you'd like to know how I made this shredded jean short, please keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more from me. If you also like my little intro, please like this video as well. So I've had this jeans for about eight, nine years now um, and it's getting old. I was about to throw it out again and I thought I can create something little with it, you know, to just kind of keep that memory with me. So that's how I made this jean short. So keep watching to see how I did it. So basically I used um, a uh, a marker this is a fabric marker but you can use a permanent marker as well if you like and also you need a scissors yeah, I use the scissors so I just use the marker to mark the front and also the back um, you know so that I can know where to cut later um, I did it the shape because I want it to be kind of round ish in the back especially um, the front is probably gonna be straight in a little bit later so basically um, you know I had to take that off I didn't want to show that on video you know because you don't want to see my nakedness man no you don't so as you can see the line is very visible this is why it's good to use a marker something that's going to be quite visible and we're just going to cut through the, um, the line perhaps um, you know not perhaps um, preferably above the line so that we can cut off the, the the color of the marker that we used to, to do our markings so I'm just following the line and you see I like that curvaceous um, not curvaceous pff, I like the curve look if you can see the middle of my paint that you, you see that yeah it's getting very um th this jeans is quite old and I don't want to show you my my um, ripped part so I just basically um, cut um, did little incisions at the bottom of the jeans um, just so, so that I can tweeze it out a, a little bit later um, so I just did that incision so I can know where to tweeze out and um, yeah so I thought I'd try it on first to see perhaps maybe I should stop here but then I decided now nah, I can take it a step further but I do like this look so you can stop here if you like as well but I, I decided to take it a step further you can see the back as well it has that round look to it which I created by um, you know cutting through with the scissors as well so to take it a little bit step to take it a step further um, I started you know I did I, I'm gonna show you how I did this in a second but um, I just basically um, grabbed the scissors yeah I lost the other scissors I didn't know where I put it in a matter of five minutes I already lost that scissors so I just used the marker to make two marks two straight lines on um, a side of the paint and then I'm going to cut through um, cut, cut the middle of, of that line and then cut it straight so I can tweeze the area so as I'm saying you're going to need a tweezer or anything that can grab onto grab onto the to the edges of the of the cut so I just start pulling the fabric out and when you start pulling it out you see that it's actually coming out nicely and you just need to be careful so you don't pull out too much of the jeans because if you do it's gonna look um it might end up looking awesome actually you know <laughs> you will never know until you try it man seriously so i just started tweezing this took me ages and when i say ages it only took about 15 minutes tops because I wanted to really make sure I tweezed out every part um, that I needed. So I'm just tweezing each, um, you know, um, each sides of the lines that I cut and I'm going to show you in a, in a little bit, um, you know, in more detail. Sorry I had to speed it up. I didn't really want you guys to sit here and watch me try to make a little jeans for like 10 hours because I don't even think YouTube will allow me to upload a 10 hour video anyway. Not like it took me 10 hours so yeah <laughs> so i'm rambling too much so basically i just kept tweezing and tweezing and tweezing to my heart's content and then i i i proceeded to the um end of the paint as you can see this this particular me method is the same method i used to tweeze the 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 lines i showed you earlier so um just in a little bit of a slow-mo here um so i just grab my tweezer and grab the very end of the the very edge of the cut and i just start pulling the little jean fabric out um to separate it a bit so it can be rugged you know those shaggy rugs yeah that's the kind of look i was going for and you know voila it was quite easy um 
And while I was doing this, my sister was talking to me, so I didn't really like focus too much on time I spent on it. And I like creating things anyway. And I like the way the, the, the look turned out. Um, I like the way it turned out. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope this video helped you a bit. Please don't forget to give this video a like. Comment down below if you liked it. And also subscribe as well. Um, you know, I, I'm not really, really dance, a good dancer, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.